It's easy to see how our dogs' thick furry coats help keep them warm in the winter. But how can they go barefoot in the ice and snow when we need boots and heavy socks? Well, the science is fascinating. If we walked in the snow barefoot, our blood vessels would constrict, redirecting blood away from the skin to help conserve our core body heat. Our feet would turn white and numb and eventually freeze. But research now shows that this isn't the case with canines. The circulatory system in their paws seems to be uniquely adapted to help them tolerate cold better than people. Using electron microscopes, Japanese scientists discovered that the blood vessels in dogs' paws are organized in what's called a countercurrent heat exchange system. It's the same sort of arrangement found in penguin feet, whale fins, and seal flippers. Here's how it works. The veins run parallel to the arteries, and as the arteries carry warm blood from the heart to the paw, heat is transferred to the neighboring veins. Since the arterial blood is cooler when it reaches the paws, less heat can be lost through the paws to the environment. In the same way, cool blood entering the veins in the paw is warmed as it returns to the heart. That helps conserve heat and keeps your dog's core body temperature up. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. Of course, that doesn't mean it's okay to leave dogs outside in the cold for long periods of time. Any dog can be vulnerable to hypothermia and frostbite. And while some dogs are okay to play barefoot out in the snow, others need booties to protect their paws. In fact, winter footwear isn't just for insulation. Booties prevent ice balls from collecting on the fur between the foot pads. They also keep paws safe from potentially toxic de-icers on sidewalks and streets. So even though you now know the cool science of how paws stay warm in the winter, dog booties are still a good idea. That is, if you can get your dog to wear them. <laughs>